Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick video with some thoughts on Kobe Bryant. Uh, this is the basketball that I keep on set over here. I've, I've loved basketball my whole life, probably more than anything besides this, whatever this is that I now do. Um, this is crazy, and I didn't even tweet this out, but I kid you not, on Saturday afternoon, I was flicking the channels, and I saw Kobe on something on Comcast, which is, you know, they carry the local Lakers stuff here. And, uh, you know, he does some broadcasting stuff now, and he's interviewed all the time. And I saw him just for a second as I was flicking the channel, and I swear to you, I swear, I thought, man, he is just living his best life. Like, the guy just looks great. He's so passionate about everything that he does. And it was just like a complete fleeting moment that I would have never thought of had uh, what happened on Sunday not happened. Um, so, look, this is a, an extraordinary tragedy, not just Kobe Bryant and his daughter and everybody else that was on there. Um, but there's something else going on here that I think is worth talking about, and I'd love to get your feelings on this, and I will actually, this will be a rare video that I actually do read the comments on. Um, when you see somebody who is so clearly uh, in the prime of their life, uh, of their lives, like he wasn't in the prime of his you know, basketball playing life anymore, but was still so at the apex of what life is, and someone who was the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate competitor, someone that stood up to every challenge that there is, someone that definitely was a flawed human being, but just kept going and going and going. And then you see their life cut short. And again, this is not to diminish all the other people that were on there. I'm just talking about the one person that loomed large in many of our worlds, uh, somebody that truly transcended the sport that he played. Um, it just doesn't feel right. Like it feels like sort of like a rip in the universe. Like, how does this happen? You know, we're all going on, a, on our daily lives doing whatever it is that we do. And like that something like this could happen. It's one thing if it happens to somebody and, you know, they're not healthy or I don't know, they're just like an awful person or, or something. Not that that makes any more sense in a way, but something like this, it feels like it just like changes like what the fabric of reality is out of nowhere. Um, and just one other quick story on this. So yesterday, no, sorry, today's Tuesday. On Sunday when this happened, I was jumping in an Uber to go to LAX, the airport here. And I noticed that my Uber, I just found out just as I was pressing the Uber, I opened my phone and I saw the notification. And I was immediately like, kind of my eyes kind of teared up and I yelled out to David that Kobe Bryant died and kind of couldn't believe it. And I was praying it was a hoax and the whole thing. Anyway, I pressed my Uber and I noticed for about five minutes, my Uber doesn't move and I was about to cancel it. And then he started moving. My Uber comes to the house and I get in the car and it's a young guy, probably in his late twenties, happens to be a black guy. And he was hysterical crying, hysterical, hysterically crying. And I kind of teared up and I said, and he, was, he said something like he wasn't sure if he could drive, maybe he shouldn't pick me up. And I was like, I was in a bit of a rush, but I was like, listen, don't worry, we can just relax for a little bit. Kind of sat there for a couple minutes. And then, and then he drove me to LAX, it's about a 45 minute drive. And we just talked about basketball the entire time. We talked about Kobe, the 81 point game, all the championships, the, the Matt Barnes moment where Kobe doesn't flinch, all of that stuff. And it's just so weird how these people that you don't know um, personally in any way can affect you in huge ways. Um, anyway, yesterday I just had a hard time thinking about anything else besides that. And uh, then I got to LAX and there were so many adults, adults crying, everyone glued to every TV and, uh, and it's just weird. And, and I'm curious just sort of what you guys think about, you know, when you, when you lose heroes or somebody young dies unexpectedly, uh, how does that affect you? You know, the guy lived with the ultimate passion for what he loved to do. And I tweeted something like this, but it's like if, if all of us could do that a little bit better, just think of the unimaginable ways we could change the world. So uh, here's to you, Kobe. I mean, he's, he's definitely, he's playing ball with some of the greats right now. I feel like he's talking with, uh, with Naismith as we speak. So uh, yeah, let me know your comments right down below.